Hey everyone, today we're going to be seeing if it's actually cooler or warmer to be in direct sunlight in the world's darkest clothing. And thanks to Omaze for sponsoring this video. Well, it should seem pretty obvious that something that's dark colored should heat up more than something that's light colored. If you've ever gone out on a hot day with a black shirt on, you can tell that the black shirt surface is much warmer than the white one. But this gets a little confusing if you've heard of Kirchhoff's law of thermal radiation. This states that for an arbitrary body emitting and absorbing thermal radiation that's in thermodynamic equilibrium, the emissivity is equal to the absorptivity. This is often said like this, a good absorber is also a good emitter. So that means that black things are good at absorbing radiation, but they're also really good at emitting it as well. You can actually see this with these bottles here that are colored black, white, and gray. Okay, so I've got all three bottles here. You can see that they're all the same temperature. It's just a steady blue across here, 17.2 degrees Celsius, all of them say. Then I'm gonna be using this for my radiation source. You can see it's glowing red hot here. If I get a source of thermal radiation aimed at these, we can see that the black one will get hotter than the white one and the gray is somewhere in the middle. Okay, so we've got the black one at 48.4 degrees, the gray one at 46.3 and the white one at 44 degrees Celsius. This is because black is a good absorber of radiation, whereas white is a good reflector. But if we turn off the heat source, we can see that the black one will actually get cooler quicker. This is because it's emitting its radiation better than the white or gray one, so it cools quicker. In fact, if I take this cold piece of aluminum and put it right next to the bottles, then the black one gets the coldest. Okay, it's been a few minutes, so our block is still at two degrees Fahrenheit. Our white's at 55.4, and our black is at 54. So this started off hotter, but it's cooling quicker than the white. So black things absorb radiation well, but they also emit it really well. And white things reflect it really well, but they also don't emit it very much. So will there actually be a big difference between wearing very dark clothing and just regular clothes? Well, let's see. Okay, so standing in the sun in normal clothes, it's about 45 degrees outside and I feel comfortable, not cold at all, not warm, about normal. <laughs> The clothing that I'm going to be wearing I made from the world's blackest fabric, made by the company that makes Musso Black. It absorbs almost all light in the visible and the infrared range, so this should give me the best chance at heating up. So when there's no wind outside, the black actually makes me feel a lot warmer than regular clothes. But when any wind starts blowing, then this actually feels a lot cooler. So overall, the results were pretty underwhelming. The black clothing wasn't really that much warmer, but why? Well, I found a study in 1980 that asked a similar question. The researchers wondered why the current inhabitants of Sinai, which is a very hot desert area, wear black robes instead of white. It seems that people would have caught on by now that white will keep them cooler. So they did an experiment. They took a person out to the desert and put them in a traditional robe. They measured the heat flow and temperatures all over the body. And they did this with their traditional black robes and also the white robes. And what they found was pretty interesting. They found that the amount of heat gained in the black robe was the same as the white. So it literally didn't matter what color the robe was. So what's going on here? Well, they did find that the surface temperature of the black robe was higher than the white one. This fits in with our bottle experiment from earlier. But they found that the additional heat of the black one was lost through convection with the air before it reached their skin. So the skin always stayed the same temperature regardless of the color of the robe. So the real answer to whether or not it's warmer to wear black or white clothing is that it depends on literally everything. If the air is colder than you and there's no sun out, then the black clothing will emit radiation faster and cool down quicker than the white. But also it depends on the airflow of the clothing, like the robes in Sinai. Also, we stay cool mostly through sweating, so if your clothes can allow sweat to evaporate, you'll stay cooler than clothing that doesn't allow evaporation. So in general, something that's black will heat up faster when exposed to radiation that's coming from only one direction. But because there are so many other factors that come into play with heat transfer, most of the time it doesn't actually make a difference when it comes to staying cool. So what I'm trying to say, if I wanna wear the world's darkest clothing on a hot day, no one can stop me. 
And thanks to Omaze for sponsoring this video. Omaze gives away one-of-a-kind prizes and experiences while donating money to chosen charities all across the world. I'm excited to be working with Omaze to offer you the chance to win an all-electric Hummer EV Edition 1 and support a great cause called Rebuilding Together. Rebuilding Together is devoted to repairing the homes of veterans, people with disabilities, and neighbors with low income to help keep our communities intact. Also, they've been instrumental in recovery efforts after natural disasters, helping residents rebuild their homes and lives. You get entered for a chance to win the all-electric Hummer EV Edition 1 with an approximate retail value of over $100,000. This is a four-wheel drive tri-motor vehicle that can go from zero to 60 miles per hour in just 60 seconds. It has super fast charging that can get you 100 miles in just 10 minutes of charge time. I'd love to take my family off-roading in this thing. Omaze is a great way to enter a cool sweepstakes while also giving to amazing charities. So for your chance to win an all-electric Hummer EV Edition 1, go to omaze.com action and enter now. Donations support the amazing work of rebuilding together. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And also you can hit the bell button so that you get notified when I release my latest video. And check out theactionlab.com where I sell Action Lab gear. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.